Hello everyone and welcome to my Pranayama Yoga session. Pranayama is ancient yogic breathing. It is practicing the art of breath control to create steady, balanced mind control. Some of you may say, what is the reason behind doing these breathing exercises? If you think about it, the breath is our vital life force energy. 80% of our energy comes from breathing and 20% comes from food. Most of the time, due to our stressful, fast-paced lifestyle or negative emotional state, we actually forget to breathe properly. We shallow breathe from the shoulders up, depriving our whole body of oxygen. And by not breathing correctly from the diaphragm, our cells do not receive a fresh supply of oxygen, which depletes our energy and slows down our digestion, leaving us feeling lethargic and making it easy for disease to manifest. Most people come to me complaining of stomach issues. Really, they first and foremost need to address their breathing. It sounds simple, however, when you become aware of it, you will recognize whether you are breathing correctly or not. These techniques I will share with you today are ones I've been personally practicing for years prior to my meditation practice. In fact, this is my meditation. They're very effective and powerful, therefore, I recommend starting with only a few rounds and building up. As we do them, I will tell you all the physiological benefits. Please abstain from doing these if you're pregnant or if you have any medical conditions. Let us begin. So first of all, we're going to start with Ujjayi breath. So you're going to inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose, So as you can hear, when you're exhaling through the nose, you're keeping the mouth closed and you're making a hissing sound in your throat in the upper glottis region. And it's the sound of the seashore, or a great metaphor is that it sounds like Darth Vader, Darth Vader breath. So just listen one more time, you inhale, that's Ujjayi breath. Now Ujjayi is known to raise the body heat which helps to purify and dissolve toxins. It performs internal purification, activation and energizes conditioning all at the same time. One of the most beneficial properties of this technique is that many asthmatics have reaped great rewards and healed from Ujjayi breath as it strengthens and conditions the lungs and the bronchial lining. So let's try a few rounds of Ujjayi breath. So inhale for two, exhale. Inhale for two, exhale four. Inhale for two, exhale for four. One last time, inhale for two, exhale for four, great. The most important thing to remember is as you inhale, you're not lifting up your shoulders or creating any tension in the upper body. So as you inhale, you're really expanding the diaphragm here and you're breathing deeply. So we're going to try that again, much deeper breathing. We're going to inhale for four and we're going to exhale on eight. On the exhalation, just make sure it's without any effort. So you're letting go, you're letting go of any tension that you're holding in the body. Okay. Actually, some of you may want to close your eyes and do this. It will help you to really go deeper in and relax. So inhale for four. Exhale on eight. Inhale four, exhale eight, inhale four, exhale eight. One last time, inhale four, 
Exhale, eight. Great, and if you've got your eyes closed, just breathing naturally, gently in your own, own time, open your eyes. So next we're going to learn Kapalabhati breathing. Kapalabhati means shining skull. This is considered a cleansing technique for the whole of the respiratory system and the nasal passage. So you can perform this in a seated position, ideally first thing in the morning. It beats any cup of coffee any day. So it's great for energising and waking you up. I'm just going to show you how to do this breathing technique and then I'm going to go over the technique with you. Okay, by breaking it down. So you're going to inhale. So the exhalation is sharp, short, and very forceful through the nose. It's as though you're blowing out a candle, and the inhalation is very passive. So what we're going to do, we're going to practice a few runs of this, and make you feel comfortable with doing the Kapalabhati breathing technique. We're going to do three rounds of breath to get you into it. So sit nice and tall, make sure the shoulders are relaxed, back is straight, you can close your eyes if you want to. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to a comfortable pose. Start the first round. And just breathe deeply and naturally for the next few seconds. Just have an awareness of how your body feels. Feeling the energy moving around the body. And remember, when you're doing this breathing technique, you must remember to catch the inhalation, otherwise you run out of breath. Now this style of breathing is very energizing, as you know, and it's a great tonic if you're feeling tired. This will help boost the oxygen supply and purify the blood. It helps get rid of any stagnant air from the bottom of lungs due to incorrect shallow breathing. It also helps to tone up the stomach muscles and leaves you feeling radiant and revitalized. So it's from the stomach pumping that you really get the energy moving. We're going to try two more rounds of this. So make sure again you're seated nice and upright, shoulders are relaxed. Take a nice deep breath in, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale to a comfortable pose. Start the second round of Kapalabhati.
Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. And just breathing deeply and naturally. And just feeling the energy move around the body. Got your eyes closed, gently open your eyes. And you can feel that you've probably shifted your state quite a lot by doing two rounds of Kapalabhati. Remember, if, if you're a beginner to this, I would start with just a few rounds, maybe two rounds of 20 pumps. We've actually done two rounds of 50. We're going to do one more round. However, if you're feeling a little bit lightheaded from this, I'd abstain from the third round. So for those of you who are joining me on the third round, again, make sure you're seated nice and upright. If you want to close your eyes, you can do. Just internalize all your senses, shoulders relaxed, connect to your breath, and take a nice deep breath in, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale to a comfortable pose, start your third round of Kapalabhati. want to keep your eyes closed and stay there for the next few minutes and really enjoy this peaceful space that you're in. And if you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. awareness of how you're feeling in mind and body. You should be feeling present here in this moment, breathing out, knowing that you've breathed out any tension or any negative unwanted emotions. You're feeling in a real clear space where you have clarity and a sense of peace. Let's get to our next breathing technique. Next, we're going to go into alternate nostril breathing, analoma biloma. What I'll do is I'll show you how to do it first, then I'll give you all the benefits of doing this particular breathing exercise, and then we're going to do it together. So your left hand goes in Chi Mudra, your right hand goes in Vishnu Mudra, so if you just watch first, you block off the right nostril with your right thumb. You inhale through the left nostril. You exhale. Again, inhale through the left. You retain the breath with the fourth finger. 
and then you exhale out the right nostril for four. Inhale for four through the right nostril. Again, retain the breath. Exhale out the left nostril. When we do it, we're going to make the exhalation deeper by taking it into eight counts and the inhalation for four counts. Now, the benefits of analoma biloma, which is alternate nostril breathing, is that it helps to balance the two hemispheres of the brain, the male and female energy. It is medically known that at any one time, our nasal cycle will favour one side and be more prominent from breathing in and out of the same side for up to three hours. The yoga science had discovered this thousands of years ago and therefore devised this particular breathing technique to help re-establish the natural nasal cycle which clears the blockage by regulating the airflow. Disturbances of the nasal cycle over a long period of time signals poor balance and functioning of the breath leading to disease. In this technique, the retention of the breath will increase more pressure, so the exchange of gases becomes greater. Therefore, one does not only get rid of CO2 on the exhalation, but other toxins held in the body will also be eliminated. All these techniques I'm showing you today are there to raise your vibration of awareness and to tap into your higher consciousness. Remember, disease cannot manifest in oxygen and there is nothing better than feeling energised and centred gaining greater perspective and clarity in life. So let's try it together. So take your left hand into Chi Mudra. That's index finger and thumb together. Place it on your lap. Take your right hand into Vishnu Mudra. So your index finger and your middle finger are down. You're going to be using your thumb and your fourth finger. So take a nice deep breath and inhale. As you exhale, block off the right nostril with your right thumb. Inhale through the left nose on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath. Exhale right on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four, retain the breath. We're holding it for four seconds on the retention. Exhale left on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, two, three, four, retain. Exhale right on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right on one, two, three, four, retain. Exhale left on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, inhale, left on one, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right on one, two, three, four, Retain. Exhale left on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last round. Inhale left on one, two, three, four. Retain. Exhale right on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, inhale on right, two, three, four, retain, exhale left on one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, excellent, and release it. Just bring both hands down to Chi Mudra, breathing deeply. Now it's not unusual to feel one side being more blocked than the other. Actually, this is a great way for you to recognize that. And hopefully by practicing this breathing technique, you're going to get nice balance of the two hemispheres, gaining greater perspective and clarity. So this time we're going to try it again. I'd like you to close your eyes and really go deeply within. So take a nice deep breath and inhale. As you exhale, block off the right nostril with your right thumb. Inhale through the left nose on one, on two, on three, on four, retain the breath. Exhale right on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four, retain the breath. We're holding it for four seconds on the retention. Exhale left on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale left on one, two, three, four, retain. Exhale right on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right on one, two, three, four, retain. Exhale left on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale left on one, two, three, four, retain. Exhale right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right on one, two, three, four, retain. Exhale left on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last round, inhale left on one, two, three, four, retain, exhale right on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, inhale on right, two, three, four, retain, Exhale left on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. And release it. Just bring both hands down to Chi Mudra, breathing deeply. Okay, so gently. In your own time, open your eyes. Well done. Just unfold your legs. Give them a shake. Good. And we're just going to finish up with one more breathing technique. It's called the lion breath. So this time you're going to come onto your hands and your knees here. And what we're going to do, we're going to inhale and round. You're going to bring your chin to your chest. And as you exhale, you're going to drop your abdomen down, stick your bottom out, stick your tongue out, look up to the ceiling and make the noise. When you're actually sticking your tongue out, you're looking up into the third eye. So we're going to try that a few times together. 
When you're ready, come into position. We're going to try four rounds of lion breath. Inhale around. Exhale and release. Inhale around. Exhale and release. Inhale and round. Exhale and release. Inhale and round. Exhale and release. Two more times. Inhale and round. Exhale and release. Last time. Inhale and round. Exhale and release. Good. If you just sit back into a child's pose, bring your forehead to the floor, arms behind you, breathing naturally. Nice deep breath and inhale. And as you exhale, gently bring yourselves to a seated position. Well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my pranayama session with you. I think it's great if you practice the pranayama breathing technique after yoga or before a meditation. So this will help to focus your mind towards one-pointedness. Have a wonderful, peaceful day and see you again soon.